Today, um, I'm going to talk to you about uh, a very interesting and an important element of our Catholic liturgy, and that is the oil. You've come across oils in the sacraments of the church, obviously, but just as a reminder and a wee clarification as well, there's three different oils that we are using. The oil of the catechumens, the holy chrism, and the oil of the sick. All the three get blessed every year at one single mass, and that is the mass which is called the Chrism Mass. It's presided by the Bishop of the Diocese and is only celebrated in one church, and that is the Cathedral. On the Holy Thursday, the Holy Thursday is the day of the institution of the priesthood, and so all the priests would gather in the Cathedral with their Bishop. They renew their promises, and then after that, the Bishop blesses the three oils. So in every parish is then, the old oils are being disposed of, they're being burnt, and the parish priests bring over new, fresh oils into their parishes to be used throughout the whole year. Now, what is the meaning of the three oils that we are using? To understand that, we need to go back to the past again, which is when the sacraments of the church were taken their shape, their form. So let's start from the oil of the catechumens. Catechumens, by the way, are people who are preparing themselves for baptism, as you know, uh, adults mostly. Now, the oil of the catechumens refers to the fact that in the past, oil was used by wrestlers. So people fighting with one another. That was a kind of sport. It is still a kind of sport. But in the past, they would use oil and they would cover their skin with oil to stop the other man from taking hold of me. Uh, you know, to, to, um, to escape his grip, his hold. Now, the Christians were using this meaning when they were using their oil because the catechumens, those who, had, who made the choice to become Christians, are still wrestling with the devil. He's still trying to get hold of them. So the church anoints the catechumens with the oil of the catechumens. That is a symbol of the prayer of the church, of the power of the Holy Spirit to stop the devil from getting hold of them. And as you are at the baptism of a child, the same thing happens. So before the child is actually baptized, the priests anoint the child with the oil of the catechumens on the child's breast, because the breast is symbolically the place when it means that I'm ready to fight, I can, I can stand a combat. So the breast is anointed with the oil of the catechumens and the prayer of the exorcism is said over a baby, asking God to free the child from the action of the evil spirit of the devil. This is the oil of the catechumens. The oil which we call the holy chrism, that is the most important one and most frequently used in the church as well. Now, this oil is not just made of simple oil, like olive oil. All the three oils are made of olive oil, for instance, organic, natural oil. This oil, the holy chrism, needs to have extra perfumes, extra oils which will be fragrant, which will, be, which will give the beautiful smell so if you open a container with the holy chrism, immediately you'll be hit by the smell of it, nice smell, because uh, this is the most important oil that we use. And again, to understand its meaning, we need to go to the past. And you know yourselves in the Old Testament, three kinds of people were getting anointed with oil, kings, priests, and prophets. You remember King Saul or King David being anointed with oil on his head. You remember the, the prophets. You remember the 
uh, the priest, like Aaron, Moses' brother, for instance. Now, the meaning of it was, you are the chosen one of God. You have been sent on a mission, the king, the priest, and a prophet. And so, these days, uh, the Holy Chrism is mostly used in the sacraments, and all of us have been anointed with the Holy Chrism when we were baptized. Straight after we were baptized, then the priest anointed our head or the forehead with the Holy Chrism, again to say, you are the chosen one of God. You are God's child. You've got this special dignity. And then the same thing happens at the confirmation. And again, we have all been anointed with the Holy Chrism at the confirmation. When the bishop or the priest anoints the forehead of the confirmed person with the Holy Chrism, and that is a sign again to reconfirm the dignity of this person as a child of God and as a sign of the Holy Spirit coming upon this person. Then, as you know, and you have witnessed to that yourselves, I suppose, maybe not all of you, but if you are at an ordination to the priesthood, the newly ordained priest is kneeling before the bishop, and the bishop anoints his hands with the holy chrism, again to say, your hands are symbolically your actions. Now, may the Holy Spirit be in what you do, when you administer the sacraments and guide the people of God. That's why the priest's hands get anointed at the ordination. Now, I don't know if you've been to an ordination of a bishop. Now, at the ordination of a bishop, bishop's head, newly ordained bishop's head, is anointed with the chrism. Sometimes it's just coming down. I was recently at an ordination of a bishop, and he was totally covered with this holy chrism, of this holy oil, abundantly. Again, a sign of an abundant grace of God coming upon him. He is the chosen one. He is the priest to lead the people of God. But also, we use the holy chrism to consecrate to God objects and places. Now, I don't know if that happened in this church, but most of the churches have been dedicated to God in a special rite. So again, the bishop would anoint, it has been because I can see the wee candles. Now, that, these are the signs where the bishop anointed the walls of this church with the holy chrism. It happens in either four or twelve places in a church. And that is to say, this space has been dedicated, dedicated to God. Now, the bishop also anoints the altar. And again, he spreads the holy chrism on the altar, again to say, this place is fully dedicated to the worship of God. That is the holy chrism. And the last one is the oil of the sick. Again, to understand its meaning, we need to look back to the ancient times. And you probably know the oil was used as a medicine. Uh, we hear that in the parable of the Good Samaritan, when he was clearing the wounds of the man who was nearly killed uh, with oil and wine. Wine was to disinfect the wound and oil was to help it to cure as soon as possible. So oil was a medicine. Now, this is why the priest anoints the sick people on their hands and on their forehead. It's actually the other way, the other way around, is the forehead and then the hands. Again, this oil is a symbol of Christ himself who is taking care of this person, who is coming with his power to strengthen this person and to heal this person. That's it. This is the end of the story. This is going to be a catechesis just like that every day. So a wee reminder of the things that we've heard of, but it's good to be reminded from time to time and maybe to learn something new uh, as well. Mm -hmm.